hello my love welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be cre recreating the viral sabrina carpenter makeup look you guys are so excited to film this thing to think that i was not in the mood of filming this thing at the time i was supposed to film it i was like oh i'm going to push it to tomorrow i'm going to push it to tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow i just kept procrastinating but i'm so glad i was able to sit down and film this thing because this look came out so bomb on tiktok right now the transition for this video is doing about almost 100k right now that's almost 100k views for the transition of this video so if you have not watched that please head over to my tiktok adiola zainab underscore yes and go and watch it and like drop a comment drop a like yeah so <laughs> right now i'm just color correcting i've not filmed for tiktok in a long time the video i posted before this one was actually a long time ago this is the first time in like three months or four months that i have sat down to film for youtube i did attempt to film for youtube a while ago but i just couldn't get the angle right because i've moved my setup has changed so it was a hassle and i was tired the night i wanted to do it so i just decided that mm, i'll push it to another time but i'm happy i was able to film this i'm actually using a new product this is the zikel i'm using the zikel x golibe palette i've been wanting to get my hands on this for so long i actually saw it at a store when i wanted to visit my friend i did not plan buying it that day i wanted to actually get a concealer but when i entered the store and i saw the palette i was like oh why don't i just get this palette because it literally had contour blush concealer different shades instead of me just buying one shade of concealer i would get different shades of concealer in a palette with blushes and contour like it was a steal so and it was just seven thousand naira. can you imagine all that for seven thousand naira? so i just decided to get it and so far i loved everything i think i loved the blush the most the blush looked so pretty it had so many different shades that are really dark skin friendly um obviously light skin people can use it but like the shades came out so well on my skin and i really really loved it the contours were deep i don't know if you guys saw my expression but like i, I was scared because when i applied it on my face it was so deep and i was like eh, did i pick the right shade but yeah there's there are so many other shades there instead of me to like pick the other shade i went to and pick the darker shade but yeah there are so many other shades in the palette only thing i would say is i i don't know if i really liked the creaminess of the concealer maybe because i didn't wait for it to dry down maybe if i had waited for it to dry down or i don't i'm not really a cream product kind of person so this was like kind of new to me but i just kept blending it i didn't want to dry it didn't dry down it kept moving about and i didn't like that so that was the only thing i had with it but other than that i love love every other thing about it so i'll do so watch some videos and check how to finesse cream products but yeah i don't know if i said this before but all the products i use would definitely be in the description so you guys can check it out i'll list everything i use every single thing so you guys should check it out in my description i really wanted this video to be a talk through i didn't want it to be a voiceover but as you guys know i told you guys that i've moved i'm no longer in school you guys are graduate so i'm at home and there's so much noise at home so much noise even in the middle of the night i even tried to film this in the middle of the night i don't understand who is doing carpentry walk in the middle of the night there was so much noise but yeah that is why i'm filming a voiceover so i think we have to make do with a voiceover for now soon i'll be able to get like a mic that will cancel out all the noise from my videos but before that happens we are going to have to make do with this one this look was so fun to look and surprisingly i had all almost everything i needed for this look and i was like oh, why don't i even film it i had contact lenses i got from Pinky paradise blue i also had a wig that was kind of blonde and i cut it i was so scared when i cut it i cut it and i styled it the way sabrina capita styles her hair i think at least i think that's the way she does it <laughs> so yeah i styled it that way and yeah i think the only thing that stressed me out for with this look was the eyes I hate doing eyeliner, especially if it's not going to be thick. You see all those eyeliners that are very thin? I try to avoid them because my lashes are curled up. So they are always obstructing the liner brush. Anytime I'm trying to draw a line, I always end up making mistakes. So the liner is thick, the mistakes are less. I don't know if you guys understand, but for this look, Sabrina's eyeliner is very thin. Like from what I saw and all the recreations that I saw, the eyeliner was thin. So that was what was like, what was going through my head while i was doing this makeup was hmm, will i get this eyeliner will i make a mistake but 
<laughs> your girl finessed it i know you guys see your girl finessed it and i was able to do it and the look came out bomb i know you guys saw me going back and forth with the concealers and that's what i was saying about this concealer it just kept moving about so i had to go in with uh, my liquid concealer from laurel a light shade because that was the shade i was meant to use in my inner corners like a lighter shade because i already gone in with a brown shade but that didn't work i think it made it worse so i had to go back in with my elf concealer i used the shade rich tan yes rich tan and i went back in and added back color to my under eyes yeah and i did that i set my face with my mera cosmetic setting powder and it came out so so good i don't know if i'm the only one that struggles with oily skin you guys i will set my skin right now and i tell you i kid you not in the next 20 minutes my skin will be producing so much oil and i would have done my skin prep to the t i don't understand what's going on you guys i don't know but if you guys have any suggestions on what i can do to help this my very silly skin to stop producing <laughs> this much oil i know some people say it's good for you the oil on your skin is good from my own point of view I'm, I'm fed up i'm done i'm done so if you guys have suggestions in the comment please let me know everybody we learn every day so please please drop the gems in the comment yeah i went over to do my eyes the eyes were so easy to do except the eyeliner i repeat except the eyeliner <laughs> oh yeah she didn't really have that much color on her eyes other than the really pale eyeshadow or the lid so i didn't really want to go with a lot of colors for the eyes i just went in with a bright milky white eyeshadow or beige i think you call it beige or milky white i kind of mixed the two i used two different palettes i'm going to be in the description like i said and i mixed that to get this shade that you guys are so seeing. this look was pretty easy to recreate i feel like anybody can do it i just really focused on my base and i tried to get the eyeshadow as similar as possible to sabrina's eyeshadow so when i filmed this look and i did the transition on tiktok a lot of people on tiktok were asking me for this tutorial i was like do you really want to see the tutorial because every time i film a tutorial of a viral look i do for a transition it doesn't really get pushed to the people that asked for the tutorial i don't know why and a lot of people don't get to see it i don't know if tiktok people don't like seeing my tutorials but yeah i just felt like it would be better to film a full youtube video so everybody can see every aspect of the look how i created it from scratch and everything so any questions because on tiktok i feel like it's so much it's so easy for you to like quickly film a look like just add certain clips and do a look but you still see some questions in the comments some people in the comments asking oh how did you do this or oh, how did you do that so i felt it was better to just film a full youtube video where you guys will see every single thing and if you still have questions well i will still answer it you get but like the questions will not be as much on certain parts of the makeup will not be as much as on tiktok but i feel like i may still do a tiktok video probably just transform this into a tiktok video i don't know i'm still contemplating i'm still thinking about it i'm still thinking about it and one thing i noticed about this look was sabri on for this look sabrina didn't have any lashes on at least i think she didn't have any lashes on and all the recreations i saw of people on tiktok doing it they didn't have lashes on and i was like oh i really want to wear lashes i love wearing lashes in my look because i feel like lashes complete the look but i was like you have to recreate the look exactly how it was jola you cannot add your own jazz to it well i did still add some things to it, like the bt marks and stuff like that can't just let go of those things but i ended up not wearing lashes and it looked really really good Oh, like i was re even surprised and this lash this mascara from huda beauty was really good it really elongated my lashes made it look so full and voluminous so i know i've gotten a lot of questions about my blush like the way i apply my blush and let me tell you guys this blush you see me apply right now is from an eyeshadow palette you can literally do it with any of your eyeshadow palettes what i do is i go in with a darker shade of blush and towards the end of my makeup brush you guys know blush is the first thing that wears off from your makeup if you don't know know it now and no peace blush is the first thing that wears off from your makeup so what i do is i apply blush i apply cream blush then i apply powdered blush then towards the end of my makeup look i go in with another lighter shade of blush so if i use like a wine blush i would go in with a lighter 
shade of blush maybe like a very light pink blush just to re-emphasize that one i applied before and give this gradient look and for the lips let me just say this the truth is that for the lips i didn't really look at how sabrina does her lips i just did what would work for me and it came out really nice this nyx butter gloss is so creamy it's so nice i don't think i'm ever letting go of this gloss never i feel ever. like this is the first time i'm doing it a voiceover i didn't really go in depth into like the steps i'm taking to achieve the look or like the product i'm using i just wanted to try something different because obviously you guys can see me you guys can see the steps i'm taking i don't really have to like say it again when you guys are seeing it but just let me know in the comments do you guys like this type of voiceover where i just ramble on and on because i have a lot to say i have a lot of things to say or do you guys like me explaining in detail every step i'm taking as i'm doing my makeup just let me know in the comments but yeah i finished up this look by adding my beauty marks you guys know i cannot let go of this step since i started watching uche it was uche i learned this step this hack from this step from and i've not let it go since then this is how the final look came out and i feel like it looks so gorgeous i looked so beautiful but let me know what you guys think in the comments and thank you guys for watching my video expect more recreations i feel like i should be doing more recreations from now on but you guys should let me know what you guys think you guys want more recreations let me know in the comments and thank you guys for watching i'll make sure to catch you guys in another video. Bye my loves!